Obesity has become a growing issue in the United States. The Centers for Disease Control reports 31% of Michiganders are obese. With its new label, disease, obesity may be dealt with differently when it comes to medicine. But is medicine the only option to be considered? TV6's Iron Mountain Kingsford Bureau reporter Abby Miller reports. Obesity affects more than one-third of all U.S. adults and has led the American Medical Association to label it a disease. There are more and more studies coming out about the, the chemical role within your body on appetite and um, intakes. So from a medical standpoint, this label could mean more insurance coverage, other options for weight management, and changes in stigmas associated with obesity. Having you know obesity being you know put in that category as a disease state makes it much more of a, a serious health condition for people to be aware of, and where we can really have more treatment, you know, availability for patients to be able to improve other health conditions that they may be working on as well that are associated with their weight status. After the American Medical Association labeled obesity a disease, some concern arose over the role of personal responsibility and discipline when it comes to weight management. Because for some people, battling obesity is a journey. A journey personal trainer Alette Nyman says started two years ago. My seven-year-old son was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. How can I ask a seven-year-old to do what I was not willing to do, which was control what I was eating. Alette lost over 100 pounds as a result of her lifestyle change, which she says was more mental than anything. It's not what you eat, it's why. Nobody forces you to eat a bag of Cheetos. Obesity is a consequence of the choices that you make, but it's why you're making the choices that's the problem. So as a personal trainer who's struggled with weight, she can in turn encourage others. Wow. Nobody wants to be overweight. Nobody wants to be labeled obese. It hurts. It hurts bad. You can't lose 100 pounds until you lose one. So with new medical attention to obesity alongside a lifestyle change, some may finally be able to take the first steps to a healthy life. Losing weight is 100% mental. You have to want it more than anything else. So everything that he's doing here, he's working in a plank position. In Iron Mountain, Abby Miller, TV6 News.